If you've been around this channel for a little bit, you probably noticed that I kind of lean towards Apple products, my MacBook Pro, and then of course my iPhone. Now, I don't own a pair of AirPods, I don't own a smartwatch, technically I don't own an iPad, my wife does. I don't know if that counts, I guess technically everything of hers is mine, vice versa. But anyway, getting sidetracked. In about a month, Apple should be releasing the next iPhone. They're also hypothetically releasing two smartwatches, or three. I don't know if the SE counts. I don't really know the whole cycles of their watches because I don't own a smartwatch. My watch that I wear pretty much every day is going to be this Rangemaster by G-Shock. It has everything that I need, solar powered so I never have to worry about it. But right now I am looking into smartwatches because I want to start tracking some health things, get into a little bit better shape, and um, I guess smartwatches is the way to go. For this 2 minute Tuesday, I just kind of want to go over the two options that I'm considering. And then if you have any suggestions, let me know then in the comment section of some alternatives. I know that the Garmin Venu 3 or something like that is a very strong competitor. Samsung has one, but I'm not on the Samsung system, so I'm probably not going to do that. Fitbit might have a few options. I haven't really looked into that. But the main two ones I've been looking at are, are at either Apple or the Garmin. Anyway. Let's put two minutes on that clock and get this started. As I just mentioned, Apple might be coming out with two watches. They're supposed to be releasing them in about a month. This is going to be the Apple Series X or 10, and then their Ultra 3. In terms of the Ultra 3, it doesn't really seem like they're going to be doing a whole lot with there. You get maybe a little bit longer battery life and different color, and that seems to be it, at least right now, from what I've seen for the uh, rumors and leaks and stuff like that. But the one that I'm in, kind of looking more towards is going to be the Apple Series 10 or X. Now, I say that based off a few different reasons. First, price. It's going to be probably about half the price. I think they're saying that it might be around $450 to $499, opposed to the $799 the Ultra would be. But again, these are all speculatory. We don't officially know that yet. Now, let's kind of go into why I would consider that over the Ultra. As I mentioned, the Ultra really isn't doing a whole lot for the going from 2 to 3. But I don't own the 2 or the 1 or again any smartwatches at all and that's going to be same through the apple series 9 through uh, the first one don't own a single smartwatch now allegedly all these are speculation right now these are going to come in two different sizes and i've seen actually a few complaining that it might be too big but for me i prefer bigger watches uh, it's just it fits my wrist better they're saying for the small one it's gonna be about 41 to 45 millimeters and then the large is gonna be 45 to 49 which would be comparable to the ultra series watches so that's kind of interesting and for those pricing wise it'd be 449 ish for the small and then 499 for the large that's again speculation we don't officially know that yet something that they are trying to do i guess is make these a little bit thinner they're going to be grading both of those watches to the s10 chip so it's going to be a little bit more efficient it's going to be a little bit faster i think they're starting to look at ai so that might be interesting in why they're upgrading that chip too will that be able to handle it we'll have enough ram because ai consumes a lot of ram so it'd be interesting whether they're going to put some in the watch or are they going to rely completely on your phone to be paired with it for those features now in terms of health apple's a little bit behind garmin because of their whole legal issues right now originally they were wanting to come out with two main features which would have been hypertension and sleep apnea the hypertension would be just to monitor your blood pressure and for apple i guess what they do is over a period and not like in that moment so if they sense like a irregularity, uh, they would go ahead and notify you. Same thing for the sleep apnea. It's just to kind of define if you have that to then contact your health provider. And for myself, you know, I do have sleep apnea. So that'd be interesting to see how that would work. The screen is also going to be upgraded. I think they call it LTPO with TFE, which is just a newer version of their OLED, I guess, maybe to make it either thinner or have more efficient to keep the battery life up there uh we'll have to wait and see what exactly that will be the series 10 or x or whatever they sign on calling it it's going to be about 2000 nits which is definitely bright but not quite as bright as the 3000 on the ultra so if you're outside i'm not really sure exactly how much of a difference that will make but it's something to consider and then in terms of battery life they're going to be aiming at like 36 hours so that's definitely a bit longer than what they had but that's still not 
that long it's like a day and a half and then for people like me who never have to charge their watch because it's solar powered i guess that's something that i would have to get used to the only other thing that i've seen people mention is there might be a new wristband system we will have to wait about another month to see what officially comes out so there you go i always blow past that two minute mark maybe i'll get better at it one day but today is not going to be that day anyway let me know down in the comments whether you think this Apple Series 10 or X or even the Ultra 3 would be a good place to start off for someone like myself, or if you think maybe the Garmin Venu 3 would be a better bet. If you have experience with that, maybe the better bet is to go to the older model, wait for these newer ones to come out, and look at the 9 or the Ultra 2 or the Ultra 1. Let me know your thoughts below, and I'm just going to wrap this up here. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.